He's drunk. How would he know where we're going? <laughs> oh, such a true Thanksgiving classic. We're talking about planes, trains, and automobiles. I know you know that one. And tonight we are dipping into the 7 Eyewitness News archive when our man, Mike Randall, scored a one-on-one -on -one interview with the late, great John Candy. This one's fabulous. In 1987, it became a huge hit. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, starring Steve Martin and John Candy. Some of it was filmed right here in Western New York. While the filming was going on, I got to interview John Candy. There was just one catch. I had to meet him at the hair salon. By now, it's no secret that John Candy is in town working on a new movie with Steve Martin. It's also no secret that dedicated broadcast journalists will do just about anything to get an exclusive interview. John was getting his hair permed this morning for his role in the movie and agreed to talk with us as long as I got my hair permed, too. And I appreciate that. That's kind of you to actually get your hair done with me. It, it should be fun. I'm guaranteeing a lot of laughs with this one. John grew up in Toronto, and he's been a fan of Eyewitness News for years. Dun, 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 Fire. Cheek to Waga. <laughs> Cheese factory burns the ground. Though he's made it to the top, John candidly admits that he's still a bit starstruck by big names like Steve Martin. Sure, absolutely, you know. And then you meet him and you realize, you know, he's, he's not real funny at all. And, uh... Before our hair-raising interview came to a close, John couldn't resist giving the salon a plug. So all the people in Buffalo, come on down to Crimper's today. <laughs> You too can look just like this. <laughs> I've met other big stars before, but there was something special about this visit with John Candy that seems to have left me with a permanent impression. This is Mike Randall for Eyewitness News. Film at 11. A lot of the driving scenes for planes, trains, and automobiles were shot on the new and unopened Route 219 between Hamburg and Springville. And even though it's 30 years old, the movie is considered still a holiday classic. I'm Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> One legend interviewing another yeah, legend absolutely. for a classic movie. I mean, the, all of the, the, the recipe is there for a fantastic story. You know, Mike Randall has been everywhere, and he has met everyone. Oh, yeah. And that perm... Hey, wow. he rocked it. Oh, that hair, <laughs> looking good. <laughs> well, Aaron's here now to tell us about our forecast. Yeah, and it's a great segue into uh, a travel forecast. Let's take a look. now.